Leaders and members of the community gathered to discuss a comprehensive plan for the facilities of Brainerd Public Schools. In the meeting, they gathered feedback to meet the current and future needs of the school system. What they find will later be presented to the school board. Our Chelsea Brown has more. The community forum held in Brainerd today discussed the history among the 12 facilities and 1.2 million square feet the Brainerd School District oversees and how these buildings are in need of some upgrades. We've got ages of building from 1929 all the way up to our newest building that was constructed in 2004. The possibilities included replacing some of the buildings, renewal options of the neighborhood schools, and making investments into the existing buildings. And it was concerns such as the overcapacity of about 300 within the elementary schools and non-air conditioning facilities that community members need to speak up about the future plans of the school district. And we also have some aging facilities within our elementary. Our, our newest elementary was constructed in 1955 and the oldest one is 1938. So we know that we've got some aging facilities that we need to address. Along with elementary schools was a discussion of a facelift to the high school to prepare for a projected increase in enrollment of 180 students over the next 10 years. I think we'll find uh, a common piece of feedback that we'll get from our community is don't move our high school and we don't need to. We can reinvest in that high school campus and make it something uh, that we're proud Proud of and uh, reflects education in today's environment. What the numbers showed is that the Brainerd School District has the ability to pull some of these projects off that would hardly affect tax money. We have uh, been very diligent in, in maintaining a reasonable level of debt, which provides us some opportunities. We could perhaps uh, see uh, construction projects that could be close to $100 million and if structured well, it would be very minimal if any uh, impact to the taxpayer here in the Brainerd School District. It's all a matter of deciding as a community where to put the potential investments. In Brainerd, Chelsea Brown, Lakeland News. Community members are invited to continue sharing their feedback with the district community leaders. The group of representatives hopes to present a long-term comprehensive plan at the next school board meeting in May. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.